My name is Jeannie Tsai and I'm an associate professor in the psychology department here at Stanford and currently I'm also the director of the undergraduate program. So you might ask yourself, you know, why should I major in psychology? And if you're interested in understanding human behavior and using that knowledge uh, to solve some of today's most pressing problems, then I think psychology is really the major for you. Psychology is the study of human behavior and whether you're interested in education, health, the economy, technology, politics, you have to have some understanding of why people think, feel, and act in the ways that they do. I can't think of a department um, that's better for answering those questions than the Stanford Psychology Department because we've been the number one psychology department in the world for the last 50 years. And that's really because we have an outstanding faculty that's not only comprised of the most distinguished um, research researchers in the field, but that's also comprised of people who are really committed to teaching undergraduates and graduates and mentoring them. And um, I know this from um, both sides. I'm saying this not just because I'm a, currently a faculty member in the department, but also because I was an undergraduate here and a psych major. And this is something that I think is not always true for undergraduates, but it was certainly true of my experience in the department, that there's so many opportunities that are available to undergraduates. You can become very active in a research lab, and instead of just being a consumer of the psychological science, you can actually create the psychological science. You can be part of the process of answering some of the questions about uh, human behavior that psychologists are trying to answer today. Um, you can also become a teaching assistant in a course. If you've done really well in a course, it's not an uncommon for a professor to ask you to then teach the course and to be part of the teaching team for that particular course. And there are also um, a number of other ways you can get involved in the department. You can be one of the peer advisors. Um, there are lots of different kinds of um, community building of events like a faculty night. And you're also welcome to uh, attend departmental colloquia or a number of the different um, brown bags that we have in the department. So there is a very rich, vibrant community that undergraduates are a part of. There are specialization tracks um, that allow you to really study a particular topic in depth. So for example, if you're interested in cognitive science and um, what goes into people thinking and how they learn and how they remember things, you can go into the cognitive sciences track. And that's basically uh, run by a particular uh, faculty member who specializes in cognitive cognitive sciences and um, who can guide you through a particular uh, curriculum of courses both in psychology and outside psychology um, so that you can leave uh, Stanford and, and leave the major with a real in-depth understanding of cognitive science. There are other specialization tracks too. You could do one in neuroscience, you could do one in mind culture and society. How do you find out more about the psychology major? Well, uh, I would encourage you to take an intro seminar um, with a psychology professor, to take Psych 1 and psych, uh, st the stats class, the introductory to stats class. Those are sort of the beginning courses that you need to take um, on your way to majoring in psychology. And um, then if you're interested in learning more about the specifics of the major, you can go to the student services office or you could ask one of your professors of your uh, classes and they can give you more information. The student services office has all of the handouts and of course the website has a lot of information about what's required of the major. Um, and then you'll be asked you know, to uh, come up with an advisor or have a faculty advisor and, and sometimes students don't really even know how to, have, how to ask somebody to be their advisor and typically you can ask uh, an instructor of a course or somebody who's doing research on topics that you're interested in. But we have a really great student services staff. We also have great peer advisors and they're really there to help answer questions of existing majors and prospective majors. So to complete the major, you start out taking Intro to Psych or Psych 1 and an Intro to Statistics class or something comparable to that. And then uh, you need to take five what we call core classes. And so there's a total of 10 classes that you can choose from. Of the five, two have to come from what we call the A side. I mean, those include courses like Intro to Perception, Intro to Learning and Memory, Intro to Cognitive Neuroscience. You also have to take two from what we call the B side. That includes Intro to Developmental Psychology, Intro to Personality and Affective Science, Intro to Cultural Psychology. Um, and then you can, your fifth cl class can come from either the A or the B side. 
Uh, then you take a number of other courses. Again, if you decide to do a specialization track, then you have to take courses that fall under that specialization track. Uh, and then 10 of the, so the, the total number of units is 70 units for the class, for the major. And so 10 of those units can be independent study, directed research, or directed reading, um, or some sort of practicum like at the Bing Nursery School. So there, there are requirements about the basic courses that you take, and then there are a lot of inter, uh, other classes that you can take, advanced seminars, intermediate seminars, um, and then there's the opportunity to get involved in a lot of research um, or to do practica, and all of those count toward the major.